Hello YouTube, Vlogging Eric Srantz here and this week I'm going to be responding to Caden Kalga and his video called Pedophilia Marriage is Coming Up. I think you know where this is going based on the recent Supreme Court ruling that makes homosexuality legal in all 50 states. And of course, just like the first video where I responded to the Vigilant Christian, this is a slippery slope premise video. I'll leave a link in the description and an annotation here to that video. So let's begin with this video. No one wants to talk about this. We can't say this. What aren't you Americans allowed to say? Freedom of speech is enshrined in the Constitution. So what can't you talk about? But up to 1994, the North American Man-Boy Love Association, created back in 1978, was affiliated with the International Lesbian and Gay Association. That was 21 years ago, Kalga. Now, not only are Nambla and Ilga not associated with each other, but gay and lesbian groups don't want anything to do with pedo groups like Nambla. A quote from Steve Hutton to confirm this. Ilga is on record as having exactly the opposite position. Promotion of pedophilia is incompatible with Ilga membership. So, Ilga today don't want anything to do with Nambla because it is in the interests of both pedophiles, who are angry at being kicked out of Ilga, and homophobes like you, Kalga, who would hate Ilga, to link Ilga with pedophilia and attack the organization. Nambla is an organization that currently still in existence. Actually, funnily enough, Nambla have been all but disbanded for nine years. The only thing related to Nambla is a website maintained by a few mentally ill individuals. Fights to remove the legal age of consent, and that's what it was founded upon. It was founded upon pedophilia, legalizing pedophilia. Uh, yeah, of course. But again, the group disbanded nine years ago. And the uh, International Lesbian and Gay Association applied for accreditation from the UN. And the UN denied them that status. They suspended them because the International Lesbian Gay Association was associated, not only, was associated with not only NAMBLA, but also two other pedi pedophilia organizations. They were affiliated with Martang, which was a Dutch organization promoting pedophilia, and also Project Truth. Again, 21 years ago. 10, 21 years ago. These three groups were expelled by ILGA. No one wants to focus on that. No one wants to talk about that and bring that up. Because it is in the interest of both pedophiles who are angry at being kicked out of Ilga and homophobes like you, Kalga, who would hate Ilga, to link Ilga with pedophilia and attack the organization. This is exactly what this whole video is about so far. Linking Ilga to Nambla and using that to attack the group and generate your narrative, which you show in the title of this video. But this wouldn't be the first time Kalga has said that a group that used to support something still supports the same thing. An example is the Democrats. They supported slavery 150 years ago. Yet according to one of Kalga's videos, the Democrats support slavery now. And he used the fact that the Democrats supported slavery 150 years ago to say that the Democrats support slavery now. It's the same bloody thing. It's the same stupid thing, stupid argument that Kalga's doing in this video. No one wants to say that back in 1972, pedophilia was considered a gay right. They had this big gay conference that took place in Chicago, the first national gay conference, uh, where all these gay organizations came in and gathered. And they decided to have a conference, 1972, on discussing what should we consider gay rights. And pedophilia was considered a gay right. Legalizing pedophilia considered a gay right. Legalizing prostitution considered a gay right. The reason for this was that back in 1972, many people considered gay liberation to be part of a broader sexual liberation movement, which included the sexual liberation of children, and hence a pedophiles. But I guess anything to add to your slippery slope narrative about the legalization of homosexuality leading to the legalization of pedophilia. And we have the documentation to prove it. We even have pictures from it. So, because a lot of liberal organizations like to pretend, yeah, this didn't happen. I'm a liberal, Calga. And while I don't talk for all liberals, I don't deny this happened. The big thing I'm talking about is that you're attacking Ilga by linking this gay and lesbian rights group to pedo groups like Nambla, despite Ilga being against Nambla. But... A lesbian uh, historian, her name is Marie J. Kuda, that's it, wrote this in a book, Out and Proud in Chicago, published it, 
and also included that in it, that one of the most controversial things that they put in it was legalizing pedophilia. Yeah, so uh, it also it definitely uh, definitely happened. And one of the famous lawyers, um, Morty Manford, uh, fought for uh, gay rights back in his early years. He was an early gay rights advocate, according to the New York Times. And he said in his papers that are currently found in the New York Public Library that, in fact, back in 1972, they had a gay convention to discuss what they should consider uh, gay rights to present to the Republican and Democratic Party to try to gain support. So this definitely happened. Again, Calga, in 1972, gay liberation was considered to be part of a wider sexual liberation, including pedophilia. This is absolutely nothing to do with ILGA today. But of course, homophobes like you link ILGA to pedo groups to attack them and formulate your fallacious narrative that legalization of gay marriage will lead to the legalization of pedophilia. So pedophilia, legalizing pedophilia was embraced by the LGBT community until 1994. Actually, for a number of years beforehand, Nambla was a fringe group in ILGA, along with the other two groups you mentioned in this video. When Bill Clinton signed into effect a thing where um, the UN could not uh, r recognize any, um, give any accreditation to an organization that promoted pedophilia. And very soon afterwards, Nambla and the other two groups were kicked, were kicked out by a margin of 214 to 30. And it took them 17 years, as long as you have been alive, Calga, to regain consultative status within the UN Economic and Social Council as a non-governmental organization. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what happened there. And what relevance does this have to the position of Ilga today? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You and other homophobes group Ilga with pedo groups like Nambla so you can attack them. So the only reason why the LGBT movement dropped pedophilia was to advance their own political agenda, to advance everything else. So you just wonder how long is it going to be before they start fighting for pedophilia again? What the fuck are you talking about, Calga? Elga will never fight for pedophilia again. They expelled those pedophilia groups in 1994. Again, Ilga is on record as having exactly the opposite position. Promotion of pedophilia is incompatible with Ilga membership. It's just a matter of time. I mean, like I said, this is all about... Uh, normalizing perversions of sex. So, <laughs> get ready. And there is a religious part of this. The normalizing of non-biblical sexual behaviors. <sighs> oh, and this is despite... Moses, one of the major prophets, endorsing pedophilia. As long as it was against prepubescent girls. I can even quote the Bible to confirm this. Now therefore kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman that hath known man by lying with him. But all the women children that have not known a man by lying with him, keep alive for yourselves. Numbers 31.17 through 31.18, King James Version. Yup, that is Moses endorsing pedophilia against prepubescent girls. Also, polygamy was the most common form of marriage in the Bible. You need to read your scripture a bit more carefully, Calga. Now I can officially say that this has been an epic fail of a video, Calga. Not only did you fail to read up on the present position of Ilga, but you strawmanned Ilga. Group them with Nambla, whom they have absolutely nothing to do with after early 1994, and in fact denounces Nambla, and attacks them for it. Attacked Ilga. You also didn't show that pedophilia marriage was coming which you had in the title of your video. So that is my response to Kalka's video. What do you guys think? Have a great day, everyone.